Hello everyone. Thank you for joining the live event. My name is Al Mograss. Um, if some of you don't know me, um, I cover the New England Territory for T Marquee. T Marquee covers from Georgia to Maine, eight sales professionals representing 11 different product lines. Those product lines are representative in the icon on this slide. In this presentation, we're going to go, we're going to cover a few things. One of the things we're going to cover is why homeowners purchase pergolas, why fiberglass, and why HB&G fiberglass pergolas. Throughout the presentation, I'm going to show you why HB&G pergolas are a great value at its price point. But first, I want to go through a, a sample that I have over here. So before I go through this pergola sample, I want to talk about pricing because that's what everyone seems to be concerned with out of the gate. So HBNG's fiberglass pergolas are a third less than P2 
PVC and a third less than wood to spend it depending on the species of wood. And that's before, that's just the fixed cost. That's before we get into the variable costs, which I'll get into later. So let me get into this sample of HBNG's pultruded fiberglass tranquility series. So start at the bottom and work my way to the top. First, we have a square permalite with a Tuscan cap and base. So here's a cutout of a square permalite column. It's, it's a pultruded product. I'm gonna be saying that word a lot today. Um, pultruded fiberglass has been in the industry a while. Um, High-end window companies started using it for its durability and it holds up to climates as well. So we've got the column with the Tuscan cap and base. On top of that, we have a um, support rafter that's held on by a support bracket, which I'll get into later. Just like the, the column, the rafter is 95% hollow the last two to five percent foam filled so that they can cut out the rafter tail design. So on top of the support rafters, we have the decorative rafters that run perpendicular to the support rafters. All the support rafters come with the brackets already on them, so you don't have to guess which ones are the support brackets and which ones are the decorative brackets. On top of, top of the decorative brackets, we have the Perlins. Here's a small sample of the Perlin. It's a pultruded fiberglass product, just like all the other components. And the last two to five percent is foam filled so that they can cut the end and paint it and finish it nicely. Let's get back into the meat of the presentation. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is the three reasons pergolas are purchased. The first reason pergolas further extend the living space. If you have a nice deck or patio and you want to extend the living space, a pergola is a great option. The second reason is many design options. If you need more shade, shelter for the rain, or just a defined great outdoor great room, pergola can do that as well. And the third reason is pergolas are an entertainer's dream. You can put ceiling fans, lights, heaters, misters, TVs. I mean, you can put anything you want in there. So why fiberglass? On this slide, I'm going to talk about value added for this price point, I'm going to give you value adds. The first one is hollow beams allow for internal wiring. On a PVC pergola, they have to make cavities with aluminum stiffeners to make those cavities. On wood pergolas, you have to put external conduits. Both those options are optimal for, for wiring. So HBNG does a great job with that. High strength to weight ratio. So with the pultruded fiberglass rafters, you can span 22 feet center to center, 26 overall in between two columns. For PVC, it's less than half of that. In wood, you have to get the product engineered to figure out what you need for column size and rafter size. And then the pultruded rafter comes into play there because if you go longer with the PVC or the wood, you're gonna, it's gonna be very heavy. You're gonna have to add people and might have to have a lull or a forklift on site. Corrosion resistance. Wood pergolas are very susceptible to bug infestation in uh, wood rot where, where fiberglass is virtually non-existent. This is a big one, guys. Pre-finished white Chromaguard engineered coating. It's a factory finish with a 10-year warranty. PVC, you have to paint the product after. In wood, 
sometimes they leave it unfinished, which it's gonna it's gonna twist and crack. Um, and if you do stain it, you're gonna have to stain it every three to five years. So pull-truded fiberglass is a great option for, for, for the finish. Limited lifetime warranty. I tried to look on some of the leading PVC pergola com companies. It was hard, to, hard for me to find their warranty section. The best that I could find was like a five year and that was the same with wood. So you get a limited lifetime warranty. And keep in mind on the PVC and the wood, they're not warranting the finish because you're putting the finish on after and it's not a factory finish and it's inferior to a fat, um, factory finish. Ease of install, this is one of the two biggest, if not the biggest value add. Average for an HBG, HB and G protruded pergola system install time is six to eight hours, two guys. And that's average. And, and this system is a kitted system and there's 72 different sizes between the two systems I'm gonna show you. PVC in wood, as you get bigger, the labor escalates because you need no, more people, it's heavier, more equipment. So that's a huge thing is the ease of install. So once again, it's the best value at its price point. I just gave you seven, six points right there. Let's talk about ease of install again, because like I said, it's a huge value add. These tools here are all you need to um, put together an HB and G pergola. Couple of drills, a hammer, couple of sockets, a wrench, and some drill bits. Wood and PVC, you're gonna need chop saws. Like I said, you might need, you're gonna need something to lift up the beams if it's a large project. You're gonna have to do some fabrication on site with HB and G's Fiberglass pergola kits, everything's pre-cut, pre-drilled. Once again, pergolas are made specific dimensions, makes installation easy and fast. The parts are clearly marked and hardware is included. I know with PVC and wood, sometimes all the fasteners are not included with the, with the pergola and um, with HB and G, you have everything you need there to put it together. You just need a couple of tools and two guys and you can put it together. Lastly, detailed install instructions are included with each kit. I know with PVC, you're probably gonna get a, um, instructions. With wood, if, you, if the builder or the developer is building it on site, they're gonna have to have a list and they're gonna have to probably redo that list and get stuff at the at the lumber yard and it, it's not the same deal this is ease of install the install installation instructions that we're going to put in i was going to put it in this presentation it's one page two sides it's very simple okay let's stick with ease of install this is a job we did in north carolina it took two installers five hours start to finish to put this pergola in. So I wanna say start to finish because if this was a wood or a PVC, they'd have to put their drop cloths, go back and paint it, adds a huge amount of labor time. So once they were done after five hours, they could just continue on that railing job that you see on the project. So I wanna talk about the the finish again, so could you go widescreen again, please? So right here I have a purlin and I have a screwdriver. I scratched it up pretty hard. The Chroma Guard finish is, is awesome. Very scratch resistant. Try doing that with a PVC product and it'll, it'll uh, rip the paint right off it. Okay, let's get back into the, to the presentation. 
Okay, tie down systems. That's another thing that the other, the PVC and the wood is an afterthought. With HB and G, with the kitted program, it comes with a tie down system. I'm going to turn on my laser pointer. So, right here, we have the rafter mounting plate. That's what you saw on the um, on the display. I pointed that out. On top of that column, you have a quarter inch aluminum plate that's held down with a 5 8 galvy rod with a couple of stainless steel couplings to hold it in place. And it's tethered to the ground in masonry with a 5 8 concrete anchor. This is standard on our kitted programs. And there's one thing I wanna bring up that I, I forgot to bring up at the beginning. All the things I'm talking about today are our stock pre-designed kitted items. Everything you can think of or imagine, we can do custom as well. I'm just going through this value add program, which, is, which has been awesome from us. But I just want you to know too that we can do custom pergolas, as long as it doesn't have a, a curve in it, we're good. So I just wanted, I forgot that, so I want to mention that. So back on tie downs. So this is the stock tie down over here where the laser pointer is, and that's a 90 mile per hour, it gets a 90 MPH wind load and it's tested and certified. Here's some wind load deck plates, square for square columns, round for round columns. You add four points of contact with these two products and you still get that 5 8 rod to connect there. If you add those which are not stock, your uh, mile per hour wind load goes from 90 to 160. So hb and thinks of all the scenarios and tries to cover all the bases and here's an example. Next, let me shut off this laser pointer. Now I'm going to talk about one of the two HBNG Pultruded Fiberglass Pergola offerings. It's the Serenity Series. It's their in-stock, off-the-shelf product, one to two week lead time. It's offered in eight sizes, six freestanding, two attached. I'm going to go over some standard features on the Serenity series. And you're going to hear me repeat a bunch of stuff and, and I want to be redundant because I got, want you guys to remember these points because they're value adds and they're very important. Okay, so on the Serenity, one of the standard features is the 10 inch by 8 inch round non tapered or square permalite with custom with Tuscan cap and base. You have the square right here. The Napa design rafter tail, which is this cut right here, is standard on the Serenity. Single rafter support, which you can see here, single header. This is like a signature look for the Serenity series. If you ever have to go out to a job site to ID a HB and G pergola, if you see that single header, single rafter support, it's a dead giveaway that it's the Serenity series. You get the white chroma guard 10 year factory finish with the Serenity. Here's a Serenity pergola right here. We have the 10 inch square permalite with the Tuscan cap and base. We have the single rafter support, single header. Right here we have the Windsor rafter tail. And we do have some rafter tail options and, and I'll get to that later in a later slide. So the next, the other fiberglass pergola offering I wanted to talk about was the Tranquility Series. The Tranquility Series is the pre-designed, is a pre-designed pultruded fiberglass pergola. It's the, it eliminates design and engineering time. The pre-design tranquility eliminates design and engineering time and 
in costs, allowing us to deliver this product in a short time at an economical price. This series is available in 64 sizes, 32 freestanding, 32 attached. Napa tail design is standard in this series as well. You have the 10 year factory finish. You have a double rafter support beam, which I'll get into on the next slide, standard on this series pergola. You have permacast round tapered or square permalites as a standard on this offering. So on this slide, I want to point out the differences between the tranquility and the serenity. So the serenity here, you have the square permalite with Tuscan cap and base. And on the serenity, we all also offer the permalite round non-tapered column. On the tranquility, you can get the square permalite with Tuscan cap and base, or you can get the permacast tapered column with Tuscan cap and base. This tends to be a more traditional look, so it's offered on the Tranquility series. Over here on the Serenity, we have the single support rafter, single header. On the Tranquility, we have the double rafter support. Once again, a more traditional looking pergola. So with that said, the Seren Serenity series pergola with its eight sizes can get you in the pergola game. But the tranquility with the 64 sizes is not one job that you shouldn't be able to fit that product into. And if by some chance you can't, like I said, we have the custom. Shut off my laser pointer. Let's talk about some of the semi-custom options. Rafter tail options. Besides the Napa, we have six other rafter tail options at a very minimal upcharge. We have 11 pre-finished color options, white being the standard with 10 other semi-custom with a, with a very minimal upcharge as well, considering. So one thing I wanted to point out about the, the colors is you see Java, Canon, Tricon, and Moss. Those are dark colors, and that's what everyone's gravitating to these days. And on a PVC or a wood pergola, they don't want you to paint or stain those with dark colors because they'll, they'll warp and twist. So it's another value add. Another semi-custom op option is the more shade for structural fiberglass pergolas. HBNG offers three ways to increase shade. The first way is the first way is the more shade canopy. It's a modular design with cables that is easy to install out of the box. The canopies open in sections. So if you see on this picture here, you can open the canopy in sections so you can control the sunlight or how much shade you want. The next option is you can add more purlins. We just need to figure that into the design before, before it's ordered, but it's, it's an option to increase shade. Lastly is the one piece sun sail. <clears throat> and the sun sail and the more shade canopy are Sunbrella products. You have color options and Sunbrella is a premium product in their category just like hb and is a premium cat, uh, product in their category. So those two products teamed up and, and, and it's, it's a really nice situation. Let's talk about packaging. Um, I can't remember a time when I went on a presentation where they talked about packaging as a value add. But like I said at the beginning, everything is delivered direct can be delivered direct to the job site. All the columns, all the hardware, the instructions, everything you need are in the crates. So this is what you get on the job site. 
There's two crates. One crate has the columns. One thing has everything else. The service is invaluable to the builder or the developer. If you're doing a multifamily and you have um, 15 pergolas, it can be a nightmare to scurry around and get the right parts. Right here, everything's right in the same crate. See the support? We have CAD drawings with highlighted dimensions, tabletop displays, and handheld displays available to you guys. Let's talk about some of the complementary products. And again, these items can be utilized in a residential project very nicely, but multifamilies and um, large projects, we've been making huge gains with these products. And also keep in mind, these sizes that I'm showing you, we can do custom in this as well, but we're talking about our standard sizing products today. The first product is the privacy screen. It's great for pools and, and dining areas on decks, comes in 12 foot or 24 foot corner sections. The next is the eyebrows or trellises. Those come in 11 foot, 18 foot, and 20 foot. Those sizes were made to match the three most common garage door widths. So with the eyebrow or trellis, you can turn a garage into an architectural focal point. It's, it's something that you guys should remember when you're quoting jobs. Lastly is entry arbors. They come 12 foot by three foot with 10 inch by eight foot square or round columns. They're great to separate backyards on a multifamily or on a residential product. They're great for the backyard or someone who's proud of their landscaping. So with that said, I just want to go over, I want to just do a quick review. So the first thing we talked about was why do homeowners purchase pergolas to extend living spaces, design options, and entertainers dreams. I think I think HB and G checked all the boxes there. But most importantly, I want to just go over a couple of the value add points again, because it's important. The first value add is engineered for entertainment. HB and G's got the Pultruded fiberglass rafters that are light, easy to handle, super easy to wire. <clears throat> and that's the point I want to make here is the wiring. PVC, they have to create cavities. In wood, they have to do external conduits. Pre-cut, pre-drilled, pre no additional fabrication. hb and does all three of those. For wood and PVC, they do some pre-cutting, some pre-drilling, but there's definitely added fabrication on site, added pre-drilling, which adds to the overall cost of your project. Pre-finished Chromaguard factory finish. PVC and wood, you have to paint or stain the product after you install it. hb and G's pultruded fiberglass pre-finish, 10-year warranty. So it's an added cost, guys. It's a, it's a variable cost, and that's what I was trying to talk about this whole presentation. So the last and the biggest is the labor cost. So I said at the beginning, hb and G's fiberglass kitted program is an average from six to eight hours, two guys. Double or triple that but PVC and wood, depending on the size. And that's before we even talk about pre-finishing. If you pre-finish, if you have to finish the PVC or the wood, you're adding 16, 32, 48 hours of labor to your cost of your job. So those are the big value add points that I wanted to hit. And lastly, I wanted to after doing this deep dive into hb and G's kitted pergola program, it reminded me of this uh, slogan, a tagline I used to hear on the radio. 
I'm not sure what the product was, so they didn't do a very good job marrying up to that, but it's it was the biggest no-brainer in the history of the world. So, I mean, after doing all the math with the with the labor cost, it's it's three quarter half to three quarters easy less than PVC or wood pergolas. So with that said, I think I hit the mark. I wanted to do 30 minutes. I think I'm right on the mark. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to email anyone on the Team Marquee team. Um, if you are interested in any of our other products, please reach out to any of the Team Marquee uh, professionals. And again, thank you very much for your time. I know it's valuable. That's why I wanted to keep it to 30 minutes. So uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it.